Hey there, Tomato Heads, Lauren here, Mrs. Tomato Head, for a third day in a row. And not necessarily intentional, but I am excited. Um, Jen, Joy, and I, we've been wanting to do an unboxing together of orders from Tomato Eden that we had recently placed. Um, and so I got mine in. I, got, I ordered two like right in a row because isn't that what normal people do? Um, but I got, I got both of mine in a couple weeks ago, I think about two weeks ago and she's been waiting for hers. We, we're not sure what's happening to it. She's going to touch base with Tatiana from Tomato Eden tonight. Um, but Tatiana reached out to me a couple hours ago and said that she's offering a 20% off coupon code, um, for, to, in celebration of International Women's Day, which is on the 8th of March. So I thought I while I really want to do this with Jen, here's the coupon code. I really want to do this with Jen. We wanted to do this together and have a lot of fun because we just have fun when we're together. I thought if her stuff comes in and this coupon code is over, I would feel really lousy. We both would. So I'm going to do my unboxing today. And when Jen gets hers in, she'll just do a separate one. But um, this is tomatoeden.net. For those of you not aware of this vendor. Um, she is probably my favorite vendor just as far as she's got everything. She's got everything. All the time, the, the kinds of tomatoes that I enjoy the most, which tend to be like Eastern European. She's got the largest selection of Jarsons that I've, I know of anybody. Um, and she has really reasonable shipping. Um, oh no, guess who I forgot. It's four o'clock, the cat again. If you were here yesterday, Rory, Rory the Wonder Cat was giving me a hard time. Don't start this. I did I did forget to leave, give her lunch, but she had, last I checked, you had breakfast still in the bowl. <laughs> we'll, we'll give it a go. I may have to lock her out again. Um, reasonable shipping. I'll have to check on what the prices are for shipping, but it's like six dollars six us dollars or something like that um and maybe eight if you want tracking just an extra two dollars which tatiana totally recommends um and she just it's impossible to go on her site and not find a million things it is she also gives tons of of gifts for every five varieties you order she she puts in one gift it's like total win-win i know a few of you in my group if you're um not aware i have a group on facebook that i do with jen joy and kina um tomato lovers collective and swap and uh many of you or a few of you lately have mentioned that customs has confiscated it which is very odd because knowing tatiana so she works very hard to have something called a plant passport it looks like this every every order you get um comes wrapped i mean maybe I haven't ordered just a few varieties, so I don't know what a small order looks like, but she'll wrap it in this nice wrapping paper. And then she's got this here and all that coding is for um, European countries, but it's a plant passport. She spends a lot of money and gets to get her seeds tested, thousands and thousands of seeds tested. So there should be no holdup in customs. I don't know what's going on lately. However, if you have had a problem, she will send them back to you. So I, I encourage you to reach out to her. She's wonderful. She's just wonderful. Um, so anyway, oop, we're about to cat. My cat literally took a piece of turkey breast from my sandwich a few moments ago. Oh, I wish I had turkey breast. I wish I did. Morzy, come join the show. Um, cereal spinner, good grief. I bought so much from Tomato Eden last time. Now a discount code to boot. I know. Do I look like I need a discount code? No, I do not. Kina and I were talking about the same thing. But it's like, it's for celebration of International Women's Day. And it's practically saving money if there's a coupon code, right? Um, hey, Linda. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining. Third day in a row for um, unboxing. I'm going to give away some really good seed prizes at the end, too. So make sure in the comments at some point, if it's your first time watching, just type hashtag tomato 
some point during the broadcast today. Um, just in the comments, hashtag tomato. And at the end, I'll do a, a live drawing. I'm giving away one, two, three, four, five of Tomato Eden's varieties. Um, I'm not sure what else to say about Tatiana. She's very, um, she's easy to talk to if you need something, if you have a question. I'm going to pull up her site right now. Um, this is what it looks like. She's from Latvia, by the way. Um, and in general, my orders, I know it, it tends, some people, somebody said in the comments before we started that took over a month. Mine generally, I average it, which is kind of pathetic, but I do average about 16 to 18 days from Latvia to me in New Jersey. Um, and funny enough, and I don't know if Tatiana did this or not, my last order, or this first of the two orders that I hold here, one I had to sign for and one I did not. And I don't know if that was her doing, I didn't pay extra. I, I have started paying for tracking on all of them for the extra $2 for me, it's, it's worth it. Um, and the other one I didn't have to, I mean, one does feel a little bit bigger than the other. Maybe she does do that in case she needs to, if she needs to replace it, you know, it's probably a good insurance policy. Oh, I wanted to show you what her website looks like. So if you see down at the bottom right here, that little chat bubble, type something in there. She does speak English. She is in our group, actually. Hi, Tatiana. I'm sure you're not watching live. Um, you're seven hours ahead, but um, you know how much I adore you. And I'm happy to do another unboxing. I've done one of these unboxings before. Jen has done a Tomato Eden unboxing on her YouTube channel as well. And it's just fun going through these varieties. All right. You know what? I'm going to have to remove... Rory the Wonder Cat. Bear with me one second. Somebody do like the Jeopardy. Dun, 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 dun. I'll be right back. Come on, you. Come on. All right. You know, I just remembered this. I used to do weekly broadcasts for my other group, Attitude of Gratitude with Chronic Pain. And when she was a kitten, she um, she chewed through three like external webcam, webcam cords. It's like she didn't want me on the air. I'm thinking she's trying to like sabotage me. So bad on her. That's okay. She's cute. Um, so again, we're talking about tomato Eden. Make sure it's you type in dot net. If you go to tomatoeden.com, you're going to get, I think it's a Polish site that perhaps used to sell tomato seeds and no longer does. So often when I talk about tomato Eden, somebody will say in the comments that they pulled it up. They say they're not selling anymore. That's the wrong tomato Eden. You want tomatoeden.net. And the coupon code, let me make this easier to read. So it's 20% 20, 20 off only for three more days. I'm not sure what time that ends. It's on Latvia time, but might be midnight of the ninth. I'm not sure. So it looks like the coupon code, this is exactly how she has it on her website. It is right at the top of her website, 8 March, 8 March. And I guess that's International Women's Day. Um, and if you, if it's your first time joining us, I love to have, I like to do these live because I like the interaction with all you guys. So, um, Hey, Amanda. Oh, sorry. You missed the coupon. See, I knew this was going to happen. And somebody else in the group yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, Malka, I done. Bye, Rory. Um, I, that's what I was feeling like. I so wanted to do this with Jen. Um, and I was so willing to wait. I could have waited. But when Tatiana talked about the coupon code, like I, I really like what it would have killed me if we were to do the unboxing last week and we missed out on the coupon code. So there you go. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, my cat held a grudge for being banished. Maybe a little bit, but the last I checked, she still had breakfast. And if you didn't hear me, oh, you, I should have introduced the cat. I did introduce her yesterday, Becca. Um, same thing happened yesterday. She's my pride and joy, Rory the Wonder Cat. She does have a bowl of dry food up there. I must tell you, the cat is not starving to death, but she likes her soft, wet food breakfast and lunch. You know, if you have a cat, you know, they like their routines. Um, 
And so, yeah, somehow she usually she comes down and gets me around like 1230 or so today. She waits till it's four o'clock p.m. here. Um, what coupon code just joined? We're talking about tomatoeden.net today. And she's offering a 20% off coupon until March 9th in celebration of International Women's Day. I'll put this up throughout. But if you go to her website, tomatoeden.net, it says it right at the top um, of the website there in red. Something else I want to discuss is that um, some people seem to have trouble. Let me get rid of my little Mr. And Mrs. Tomato Head. Some people have talked about having trouble with... Um, uh, translation, but she offers, if you look at the very top here, let me see if I can make myself smaller. Oh, I can. At the very top up here next to her logo, there it says, are you, if you click down on that, there's an English version. I think my desktop, which is what I'm using, my, my iMac tends to do it automatically for me, but, um, yeah, it's amazing. I wish all sites did that. She offers, I mean, she's just this, Look at that. Don't look at this little bag up here that has 40 things in the bag in the shopping cart. What the heck? I'm a sick woman. I am a really sick woman. Do I look like when I open these, you're going to think, you already know I'm nuts. It's okay. Make sure you type in hashtag tomato during the broadcast. And um, I will, uh, I'm going to show pictures like I usually do. And some of these are gifts that I know she threw in that aren't necessarily on her website yet. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, let me know. Hey, Sean, glad you're here. Idaho Garden Girl, hello. Um, hey, Cindy, glad you're here. Um, oh, yeah, Becca, I should have introduced the cat. Uh, I love learning about these seeds I've never heard of. That's honestly, I feel like... I was going to say that's the best part of tomato eating. It's one of the best parts. She's just a win-win. I guess you take a gamble with, with customs, but honestly, I've, up until like two weeks ago, I never heard of anybody having trouble with customs with her because, again, of this plant passport that she pays a lot of money to get. Her seeds are all tested. They're all tested. Um, so it's a shame. But again, if that happens to you, reach out to her. She does guarantee, and it, it'll be in like the terms on her website. She does guarantee to replace them should customs take them. All right. So when you get it, obviously it looks like, looks like this beautiful thing. It is like Christmas and your birthday wrapped all in one. And then inside this, you get what is quite possibly the most beautiful site, even more than like the Grand Canyon, let's, or the, or like the ocean at sunrise. This is almost as beautiful. It might be more beautiful because this is what you get. Well, if you order a lot like me, this is what you get. So this is one. And not to forget, there is a second order. This is... Two. Now, don't panic. It's not going to be, hopefully, not another three-hour unboxing. I, I usually order doubles. She has 10 seeds per pack. Um, the packs look like this. She has the name most of the time in English, but sometimes in Russian, so you have to... Um, you have to translate, and Google Translate does a great job. And then she it's also in different languages. And then she'll have the height, the weight of the fruit, what year the seeds were saved. This is a variety called Magician, by the way, one of her newer ones. Also want to tell you a bit of a secret or something that I've realized recently. So if you go to her site, like here, up at the top, I know it's it's a bit hard to see, but up at the top, you can possibly see she's got all these tabs. Home, catalog, tomatoes, question, answer, terms, reviews, gift card, and blog. If you go to the one that says tomatoes, you can see all of her categories here, all the categories. And she really puts them, she's got great categories 
green, white, yellow, orange. Also, dwarfs, long keepers, potted, unstable F1 to F5 varieties, which gets me excited. Then she's got Kazula and Jarson, Sofia Sakova, Vitaly Alaferov, which is who is one of my recent um, obsessions to start collecting his stuff. Um, she's got older seed seeds, 2017 to 2019. Um, really exciting. And then she's got, oop, can't do it there. Then she's got different series, pineapple series, chuppa chups, um, tulip, Minus, Minusinski, the sergeant, rebel, woolly heart, tiger boar zebra. But under that, if you scroll down, these are her most recent added. And when I tell you this woman's like a magician, Keenan and I were talking about this earlier. It's like every day, all of a sudden, she pulls these new varieties out of her hat. So I keep an, I keep tabs on this. I probably shouldn't, but I keep tabs on what's new. You would think I owned her entire inventory by now, but I do not. Um, so often, and often she'll she'll put a bunch up in one day. One of them over here, I don't know if you can see, but the last one in the top row is one I'm really excited about. Actually, we can just start with that because I know they're right here. This is called Cherokee Rose Green. Let's click on that and see what it says. I had never heard of this variety before. How does that look? Yeah, it looks pretty good. So I've got two packets of this. Um, and it says Cherokee Rose is a unique variation of the famous Cherokee Purple. It's 1.8 meters. Um, fruit weight, 100 grams. This is funky looking and really, really cool. Really cool. Anybody else heard of this one before? This is what I'm talking about. You go, I really just need to stay off her site. It's like I need a lock on my computer. Like Rob really should have, you know, like the parental controls on TV and computers for kids. That's what I need for tomato seeds. Honestly, don't tell him I said that. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful, Green Thumb Gardener? I agree. I agree. I know. I'm curious. Why? What is in my cart? You'd think I should know. A lot of times I'll trade a lot of these and then I feel like I need to replace it. It's like this vicious cycle. Like I only have a certain amount left. What if I want to trade? I need these. Like it's crazy. But the thing is, look at the price. One dollar fifty. This is in euros, but the euro, the currency exchange right now is pretty much one to one. A dollar fifty for ten seeds, and and um, uh, shipping is so reasonable. Let, let's talk about shipping for a minute because I forget exactly. Is it in terms? Um, let me just read her shipping policy. Policy: We ship your order to the address you provide. Ensure that it's entered correctly. Um, if you choose standard delivery without a tracking code, we are not responsible for the loss of the letter by the post office. Orders are dispatched within one to 30 days of placing the order. You can check before placing an order through the form in the chat. Um, that chat thing is this little chat bubble I was telling you about down in the right-hand corner. Um, if the buyer indicated the address incorrectly or the package was not selected by the client, then the delivery will need to be paid again. Return policy. We issue refunds only in the following cases. The order has not yet been shipped, which I've never heard of her doing that. The order was confiscated by customs, as long as evidence is provided. An order placed where the tracking code did not reach you within 90 days. And then she accepts bank uh, PayPal. We accept, pay oh, we accept payment by credit cards, PayPal, or bank transfer. But let's look at my cart here. View cart. Oh, my goodness. This is just insanity. Um, yeah, a lot of these are, it looks like dwarf purple, dwarf chocolate heartthrobs out of stock are things I already have um, that I needed to replace. But let's pretend I'm checking out. Can we do that? Why not? I just wanted to oh, estimate delivery. Let's do that. In country, United States. I'm pretty sure it's like six dollars. 
um, for non-tracking and eight dollars for tracking. Yeah. Oh no, it's track track delivery delivery six dollars eighty six eighty euros, and standard is four dollars and twenty cents. Um, so for less than two no two dollars and forty cents more, if you're if we're talking U.S. dollars, it's really I think it's it's worth it. Bella, I couldn't agree with you more. You can never have enough seeds. Completely agree. And I agree, Cherokee Rose does look amazing, completely. All right, let's get back to opening some seeds. So now that we've got the terms all set, and don't forget, we're talking about, if you're just joining us, we're talking about tomatoeden.net. And she's offering a 20% off coupon code from now until March 9th. The code at checkout is 8March. That's how it is. You can confirm that on the top of her website, but that's what it says. Okay. Next we have, oh, where to begin? Okay. So she, you're going to think I'm silly on this one, but that's okay. I am. I talk about Jarsons all the time. I'm obsessed with Jarsons. Jarson is a Polish breeder, similar to Kazula in the fact that he puts out varieties that are numbers. So there's Jarson 1 through 35, a million variants in there, like Jarson 1, Type 1, version 8, like things like that. Kazula does that as well. So if you got Jarson 1 seeds from me this year, what I grew out was her only Jarson 1 at the time. I got the seeds from her last year. And it is quite possibly the most beautiful tomato I've ever seen and grown. Um, it's glossy. It's got this point at the bottom. Looks actually a little bit different from the seeds I got from her. Um, the inside spectacular. It was very prolific, very big. Now she has, I think she's up to five different versions of Jarson 1 because Jarsons aren't exactly stable. Most of them. I think 18.3, Jarson 18 version 3 is stable. Other than that, they're talking F4s, F5s. Um, so you're, she, she uh, Tatiana grew out obviously some Jarson ones and sh I'm just typing in Jarson one here so you can see. So Jarson one, view all. Okay. This is one, two, three, four, four different versions of Jarson one. I thought there was a new one. I thought I already had four and I'm just getting the fifth. Well, whatever. New version of Jarson one looks like it's Maybe this one, Jarson one. Um, I, I eventually want to grow out all the Jarsons. This is um, the one I was just telling you about. I'm calling my mine, by the way, I'm starting to call the one I grew Jarson one tricolor. But this is a new version of Jarson one that she had. Um, the pulp is tricolored with emerald seed jelly, juicy, tender like buttercream with a wonderful taste. Couldn't agree more. You can see that this is also Jarson one, this one here. So you can see that can be quite different. Um, I collect them all. I must have them. I just must. I'm the Jarson queen. So that is why there's so many different numbers and why there may be confusion. Um, so that's the new Jarson one. This one, as soon it's one of the newer ones. Also, as soon as I saw it, it went immediately onto my grow list for this year. This is called Erox Blush. And oops, sometimes it goes all Russian on me. Let's translate. Translate full page. Tall 1.8 meters, mid-season variety with beautiful heart-shaped fruits and bicolors. Fruit weight 100 to 450 grams, the higher the larger. One of the most delicious tomatoes is what she says. Grow list goes on the grow list. She grows, I should also say, and I've said this in videos past uh, regarding her, that um, she grows all of her own varieties. She doesn't outsource anything. Her son and wife help, son and his wife help her. Um, she saves all her own seeds. This is a one woman business, basically. Um, look at the inside of this. 
OMG. Erocks blush. Erocks blush. That's gorgeous. Okay. I should also say she has a phenomenal selection of micro dwarfs and long keepers. So, I mean, she checks all the boxes for me. She's got all the Jarsons. She's always coming out with new micro dwarfs. In fact, I'm giving away one, two of her newer micros. If Make sure you type in hashtag tomato. Um, she's always coming out with new ones. In fact, here's Here's a mini dwarf that I didn't know about. It is called Dwarf Round Robin. You really just have to keep looking at what she comes out with because it's like Christmas every day over there. Dwarf Round Robin, a productive dwarf with large wrinkled leaves. Its fruits are thick and fleshy, spherical in shape, dark red in color with dark shoulders and green stripes with an excellent, well-balanced flavor. When grown in pots, the height of the plants is no more than 50 to 60 centimeters. So that is um, 20 to 24 inches, if I'm not mistaken. I mentioned yesterday, I'm starting to know like other languages because of tomatoes. I'm also starting to know a little bit of the metric system. We're, we're so spoiled here in the United States. We're like, you know, we don't want to go metric, but I'm enjoying it. This is beautiful. Dwarf round robin. Okay. When you, if you guys see something you that knocks your socks off, put it in the comments. Um, yeah, I know. I know. Oh, Nicole's here. Hey, Nicole. And you grow row. She won yesterday. Oh boy. That's pretty. Hey there, whoever's Facebook user and said, hi, Lauren, make sure you sign in um, if you're watching from Facebook. Otherwise, the, um, the, the uh, giveaway tool won't pick you up. If, um, let me get you the YouTube, like you may as well just watch on my YouTube channel if you don't, if you're having trouble signing in. Um, let me get to the link here. Share. This is, this is the link to watch this stream on my YouTube channel, Mr. and Mrs. Tomato Head. And there, because it's a public channel, you don't need to worry about signing in. Um, yeah. Okay. Dwarf Round Robin. Love the, hi, Alicia. Nice to have you here. Love the Dwarf Round Robin. And yeah, the Cherokee Rose Green is gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. What's next? I have to look and see where I've got doubles. And, oh, gosh. Did I already do Erox blush? Yes, I did Erox blush. Right here. Okay. This one, I got it. It's already sold out. I got super excited for this micro. Let me see. So you guys may be aware of a variety called um, Dwarf Antho Pink Panther. This is a micro dwarf version of it. Dwarf Mini Antho Pink Panther. What? Yes, it's true. She writes, the color of the fruit is simply very beautiful. A combination of anthocyanin with pink and yellow flowers, flowers striped throughout the fruit. Weight are two, 20 to 80 grams, very tasty. Plant height is only 0.3 to 0.4 meters. Very productive. Um, let's let's take another look at these. Look, it's a micro. Look at this. So excited. Not big on antho, which I make no um, qualms about saying I'm not the hugest fan of antho, but Antho on micros, so far it's 100% for me liking Antho on micros. I don't know if this one will be different. Um, I sadly have to mention that it's already sold out. But um, she's got this button that says notify when available. You can put in your email address and she'll notify you. I know, blessed Vermont or VT. I know, I know. Really cool. I know, Cheryl. What? I know, I know. Um, looking for the round robin on her site. It's called Dwarf Dwarf Round Robin. You should be able to find it from that. 
Um, Lisa, you have this one. That's awesome. Yeah, it just came out recently. I told Keena, I'm like, have you seen this micro antho pink panther? And she's like, what? So I sent her one because she has to have it. Okay. This one, I think I also got um, from Sean from Bounty Hunter. He has this also. This is called Dwarf Milk Dud. She's got some tomatoes with great names too. Dwarf Milk Dud. Here we go. Dwarf Milk Dud. Um, the height of the bush is up to one meter. The fruits weigh 80 to 100 20 grams, mid-season, very productive, delicious. Dwarf milk dud. Love the inside, too. Very nice. I don't, honestly, I don't know how she does it. Her son's not always around to help, um, but he helps when he can. She really does this all on her own. She's really just a force to be reckoned with. I think she told me she grows about a thousand varieties every year. I could be wrong about that, but I feel like before I did my last unboxing with her, that's what she had told me. Um, she's got all taped here. All right, where are we at? Here's one called uh, Amanda. I ordered round robin. Good. How big does the pink micro get? It sa says um, 0 0.3 to 0 0.4 meters. So what is that? That's... I should know my conversion on that too, because I'm always doing that with micro dwarfs. 0.3. So 12, 12 to 16 inches. Pretty amazing, right? Um, okay. This one's called Orange Walk. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, this is neat. Orange walk. It's a Tom Wagner variety. Indeterminate, 1.8 meters. The fruits are yellow. Very few seeds. Pepper shaped with a long spout. That's super cool. Almost looks like a long keeper. Um, but those have smaller spouts. The oily pulp will not leave anyone indifferent. Sometimes the translations don't exactly make sense, but I don't care. I don't care. I can usually figure out what she's trying to say. And I'm just grateful that she has an English and a, you know, an English version of it. That's just awesome. The screen is super blurry for you. I don't know why. I don't know. I mean, I'm looking at it too, maybe because it's just really big. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm staring at it right here on my dashboard screen. It's, it's a little blurry too. So it's probably, let me see if I can, oops. Well, that's really big. Um, yeah, I guess it's from her site. So hopefully you can at least see the pictures a little bit. Um, okay, so it's Orange Walk. Seraphima. It's too bad we can't all um, be on the site together and kind of go through it all together. Seraphim, it looks like this one's out of stock. Mid-season, tall, indeterminate, 1.8 meters, fruit weight 70 to 200 grams, amazing variety, new selection by V. Pullins, bicolor matte suede to the touch, amazes with its beauty, delicious, very cool. Suede to the touch. I guess, would that mean woolly, I wonder? She has a whole section for woolly. I don't know if I can blow this up. Doesn't really look woolly. Must just be a different texture. Very cool. So if this one interests you, you can um, type in notify when available, put in your email address. And she does email right when she first gets it. Okay, here's one I've got two of called Tresia Rosa. Tresia Rosa. Rosa. 
Ah, it's a long keeper, also known as red spit. New long keeper. Suede. Yeah, that's what it said. Suede. Um, it's good on yours. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad it's good on yours. That's good to hear. Um, I forgot there was another long keeper that I didn't have. This says representative of the new Italian series of long lasting tomatoes. The varieties of this series are stored fresh without the use of any preservatives for up to six to seven months. A productive and very spectacular variety with incredibly lush flowering and abundant fruiting, even despite the temperature rise over temperature rise above 32 degrees Celsius. Red spit continues to actively bloom and set fruit. The harvest ripens smoothly, abundantly, and for a long time. Excellent for preservation, frozen and dried. It completely retains its beautiful color, amazing taste, and wonderful aroma. But its main purpose is long-term storage. To keep the fruits better, we water bushes with browned tomatoes only when necessary. When the leaves begin to wilt, we cut off ripe clusters. The last fruits of which begin to turn brown. We tie them in bundles and hang them in a cool dry room. Tomatoes in this form retain their unique taste and wonderful aroma for more than six months. That's awesome. Let's look at the inside. Nice. Trechia rasa or red spit. Long keeper. One to add to the long keepers. Very exciting. Okay, this one. This one is not normally one I would have gotten because of the whole antho thing, but she made it sound really good and it looks really cool. This is called Blueberry Dessert, one of her new ones. Delicious fruits with a unique raspberry violet color and a high content of lycopene and anthocyanin. Indeterminate mid-season variety for growing in protected soil. The period from germination to the beginning of ripening is 110 to 120 days. Four to six fruits in a cluster. The color of the unripe formed fruit is green with a large purple spot at the stalk, while the color of the mature fruit is crimson violet. The fruits have an excellent, <clears throat> excuse me, excellent Swedish taste with a slight sourness and rich aroma. Yeah, she makes it sound really good. Plus, you know, the name, blueberry dessert. And this she has in stock. Okay. This was a new one too. Oops. Called. Why is it doing that? Adjutant. What's this one all about? Adjutant. A tasty salad variety with chocolate pink colored fruits. Mid-season. 111 to 115 days. Indeterminate. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Adjutant. Ooh, look at the fruit set on that. Nice. Nice. Gosh, I just want to go to like Latvia and go to her house and maybe move in for a little while. How do I store all my seeds? I don't have a binder. I could go get my, one of my binders. Um, I keep them in binders. I have um, these big four inch binders with... Uh, clear slots in them for most of them. And then um, I store them all in alphabetical order. And then I have separate smaller binders that I keep things like um, all the Jarson varieties, all my long keepers. Um, I have a whole separate big four inch binder for my micros. I can go get them if you would like to see them. Um, with G Sipper, my tomato order was confiscated two weeks ago by U.S. Customs. Glad to see yours got through. I hope you you message Tatiana because she will um, resend them. I'm not sure why we talked about this if you weren't here earlier. She does pay for to get her seeds all tested. She's got the phytosanitary certificate and this plant passport, so it shouldn't be confiscated. But I know that something with the post office has been happening lately. And uh, I did read her terms. She she does um, replace seeds that were confiscated as long as you have proof that they were confiscated. Um, she's really good like that. She's she's amazing. And um, yeah, both of mine made it fine. And I haven't had any 
any issue with with hers, but I know others have. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. That's a real bummer. All right, what's next? Um, this one's called Dwarf Aussie Drop. Dwarf Aussie Drop. That's cool. The result of a cross made by Petrina Nusky Small. She's of the Dwarf Tomato Project. Between a dwarf brown, brown paw kangaroo and purple Russian. The Australian blob was chosen and named by Petrina. I'm guessing that's a um, a uh, translation issue. Dwarf Aussie drop or Australian blob. Low growing dwarf, 0.6 to 0.8 inch meters high in open ground in greenhouses, up to five meters in a pot. So it's almost, it can be a mini dwarf too. Wrinkled leaves, medium ripening period, round heart shape, meaty with excellent taste and pleasant aroma, high productivity. Very nice. Very nice. Dwarf Aussie drop. Um, let me tell you, I'm going to go through and show you guys what the prizes are going to be. Do those first. So this first one is by, I mentioned Ele, uh, Vitaly Elefirov. Earlier, he's a breeder that I've recently come to really know and appreciate his work. Um, he's he's got a lot of different varieties out. Hmm. Oh, I, did I spell it wrong? Sometimes in the English translation, he's got a series called the Seven Rivers series. He's got many series. Seven Rivers. Let's try that. This one is called, here it is. Yeah. On the seed packet, it shows Summer H, Summer H A, but I do know from translation that it is Seven Rivers. So I'm giving away one pack of these. This next one is a recent micro dwarf called Spring Drops, which I'm, I've just started seeds for this early, short, 40 to 60 centimeters, disease resistant. Fruits very abundant until the end of the season, all with elegant tomatoes. The fruits look like small droplets and are elongated with a small nose. Juicy fruits with thin skin. I like that. And here's the inside. I'm giving away a package of that and 10 seeds per pack. Next one's another new micro of hers. Am I showing these? Yeah. Um, called stone flower. I've got a pretty awesome looking plant over there. No ripe fruit yet, but tons of green fruit on it. Stone flower. This looks amazing. Um, she doesn't have much listed on here, but the plant, I could go get the plant, I suppose. The plant is about this big, loaded with fruit. And um, it's going, they're going to be red little fruits on there. This next one is in celebration of St. Patrick's Day. It's called Leprechaun Lenya. Lepre you guys getting sick of these unboxings yet? I'm really not. But I guess you would, if you would, you weren't, we wouldn't be here if you were, um, Sick of them. Look at this beauty, Leprechaun Lenya. This it's a dwarf and it's experimental variety F3, which I love. It's her own cross. Um, how she has time to do these things, I don't know. Cross pollination of VT16 brow and dwarf DSA. This cross pollination produced a lot of lines, which I will now stabilize. 8.8 meters high in open ground, super productive. Delicious without acid. She says this a lot in the translation, not sick, which I know um, translates to disease resistant. <laughs> I like that, not sick. It may still give deviations, but this year all six bushes grew the same. So I'm giving away a package of Leprechaun Lenya. Is it in stock? Oh, it looks like they are in stock, so you could order it too if you don't win. Then this next one, 
I'm going to be doing a video soon if I could stop doing these unboxings of like my top 25 um, most the ones I'm most excited about. I may do it live um, because I like doing this with you guys. This one is a new one that she has. It's already sold out, I have to say. Um, it only turned up on her site at, like a month ago. This is called Rojo Verde uh, by Colore de Darl. I'm guessing that means red green bicolor of Carl, although she has two headed Jarl next to it. So who knows? Um, look at this beauty. This variety originally from Spain was created and stabilized by the collector Juan Antonio Ramirez Lopez in the Cordoba region in Alcorson. Sweet taste, very beautiful and productive variety. Um, yeah, this is, let's look at the inside. Gorgeous. You can tell by my orders that I do have a type of tomato that I like, and this is like, I like tomatoes that look like this. So those those are the five I'm giving away. This Rojo Verde, Bicolor de Jarl, the Leprechaun Lenya, Stoneflower, Spring Drops, and Seven Rivers. So write in hashtag tomato. Those are my favorite color tomato. Me too, Samantha, for sure, for sure. Um, Okay, what's next? She's got a great selection of Kazulas, and I see a few here. Let's go into those. She um, she and I have gotten to know each other. And, you know, I, I have, haven't said this, I don't think, and I feel the need to say it. I just want to specify that Jen, myself, Kina, we are never, ever, ever given free seeds in exchange for reviews or unboxings or anything like that. I don't know if you guys know that or not. We're not. We we do get donations for the group. Like Sean from Bounty Hunter just sent us a bunch of seeds to give away for the group. Um, and I think we were talking today. We're we're hitting three thousand members really really soon in TLC. So the three of us are talking about maybe doing a live and giving away a lot of the seeds that have been donated to us. But like I place I place an order for these. I get I don't get a discount. I get nothing. And I I like it that way. Um, I wouldn't want it any other way because I want you guys to know that, you know, our reviews are authentic and um, not doing this in exchange for anything. So I hope you know that about us, but I just feel the need to, to say that. Sherva, you've been lucky. So maybe you will win that last one, um, especially when it's out of stock. Um, so anyway, but you know, off my soapbox, but we, we do not get free seeds and I would actually turn it down if, if we were, asked to do a review for free seeds. I wouldn't take it. It just doesn't feel right and authentic to me. All right, back to tomatoes, shall we? I started saying that um, she's got a great, great um, collection of Kazulas. And um, you know, I'm a fan of Jarson's, but I'm also a fan of Kazulas, not quite as much as Jarson's, but this is Jar a Kazula 20 variation one. She doesn't have the crosses on here. Um, if you're in TLC and you go to our guides, at, there's a guides tab at the top of our page and go into breeder resource sheets. I have a Kazula and a Jarson sheet, um, separate ones that tell you what every cross is. So if you wanna know what the Kazula, actually I should pull it up on here. Um, that way I can tell you guys what the cross is. Cause I like to know what the crosses are. Um, Hang on. I know it must be good. So anyway, the resource sheets you can you can find out. Oh, Kazula twenty is um hmm. Hang on, bear with me. I just went on my own spreadsheet because I thought I could find it there and I don't have it written down yet guides. It's in guide three. We've got all the bre reader resource sheets. Long keepers, woolly angora. No, it's not under there. It's under here. Come on, Kazula, where are you? There's Jarson. Here we go. 
It's a PDF file. So Kazula 20 is a cross between um, looks like she's got codes for everything. Anna Junkowski is her name, by the way. She's a female Polish breeder, which is way awesome. Um, and a lot of breeders have these codes, and I'm not sure exactly what these are. It's raspberry, FF, and copia. And this 20 variation is cherry and chocolate, she calls it. Because um, those aren't necessarily uh, stable either. Some of them, a lot of them aren't. So to me, that's kind of exciting. But look, at, isn't this gorgeous? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like a nice fruit set on there. And this next one's Kazula 197. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, shoot, I didn't show it, did I? Ah, let me go back. You got to see it. <laughs> I'm ooing and aahing, and you guys are like, um, yeah, this is the Kazula 20 variation one. Or maybe I did show it. Did I show? I don't know. So many unboxing. I'm, I'm starting to lose my mind. I'm in tomato, a tomato frenzy. All right. This next one is Kazula 197. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you're just joining us, this is an unboxing from tomatoeden.net. She is giving away a 20% discount um, until March 9th. So if you'd like to place an order, now's the time to do it. Uh, she doesn't have much on here. Let's see what the cross is on my handy dandy cross list since I've got it up. Um, oh, this is all like cryptic too. 197. DRK 7014 and pink flat pouch. Yeah, she does have, if you go into that sheet, there is some explanation as to what some of those codes are. It would take me a while to um, figure it out, but whatever it is, it's beauty, beauteous. So it's Kazula 197. I talked about Magician, but I didn't um, show it. Let's look at Magician. This is one of her newer ones this year too. I think, oh, she, that's right. She doesn't have a picture. Um, this is an Alifirov one as well. Um, I don't know if, can I pull up my spreadsheet? You know, let me see if I can do, hang on. Yeah, it's a, she's got it on her seed packet. She's got these red tomatoes, so I can show you that. And I can take this, um, Russian name and, and Google. Oh, now it's gone. It's, um, yeah, it says another wonderful variety from the collection of Vitaly Alafirov, bush height 1.5 to 1.7 meters, fleshy fruits, one of the best and most delicious varieties. She's killing me. Let me just see if I can type it in. Magician Alafirov tomato. We want to better look at that. Try images. Yeah. I know on um I know I've got a better link that we can see a picture of. Because we really have to, right? We have to see a picture. It's from like a um I think a Russian site that I found a picture on. All right. While I'm looking for that, what's your favorite variety that I've shown so far? Are you guys seeing this? No. We can look. If you didn't see it yesterday, I'll show you my crazy spreadsheet. It's a bit... It's a bit embarrassing, but a bit exciting too. So I log everything I have, I log into here so I can see pictures. And I've got tabs at the bottom for my collection, 
Microdwarfs, Kazulas, Jarsons, Long Keepers, Hanging Basket, which by the way, if you're in TLC, I put up a post last night asking what your favorite hanging basket or um, cascading varieties are. And uh, boy, that post became popular and somebody suggested we do a resource sheet for them. So I started one today. It's not a wonder that I can't get planting done because I'm living in this tomato world. Here it is. Can we see this? No, nope, we can't. Get rid of the spreadsheet for that. Okay, this is on a Russian site. I'm only showing it to you because she talks about it being extra delicious and I want you to be able to see it. Here it is. Here's Magician. Very nice, right? This is from Domash N-I-Y Pomodoro.ru, a Russian site. Elifirov, by the way, I just um, forgot because it's over here. I talked yesterday about him a little bit. He's from Kazakhstan. Pretty awesome. All right. So that's Magician. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Lisi. I'm glad you enjoy them. We like putting them together. Um, Cheryl, my favorite so far is the micro antho pink panther. I know, isn't it spectacular? I can't believe she's sold out already. It's a bummer. Um, this next one I've definitely heard of before. I feel like it came up. It was a cross of something during my um, my unboxing with Sean from Bounty Hunter last week. Shadow Dancer. Well, oh, another one that looks very, oh, hang on, wrong one. Stop screen, present. Here it is, Shadow Dancer. Dean Slater, 1.8 meters, medium-sized fruits with amazingly beautiful colors. There are yellow, orange, and pearlescent stains on a red background. Fruit is sweet, pleasant, very good. Let's look at the inside. Nice. Shadow Dancer. All right. Um, oh, I, I think I started to say, so before I went off on my whole thing about the fact we don't get free seeds in exchange for reviews, um, I've gotten to know Tatiana just from, you know, using that chat box and t asking her about Jarsons and all kinds of things. And she's also in the group, which I mentioned. She's really nice. Um, she often will tell me, all right, you've just placed this big order. You've got seven varieties for free gifts and she'll let me pick. This time she wanted to pick for me, which, and she put some really cool things in there, which I don't even know that are on the website. Um, but I, I liked that a lot. She's just the nicest person. She has a YouTube channel also. Maybe I'll put that, I'll put that in the show notes. It's in Russian. Ooh, look at this. What? Where did this come from? Black yellow, it's called. I'm I'm really into this year, these things with the ochre color. Last year I grew Uluru ochre. And the year before I grew Thorburn's terracotta. Um, this year I'm doing um, butterscotch stripes, earth, I think it's earth angel. Um, that was given to me by, um, by a friend who bred it, who's in our group. Um, I feel like there was another one. Anyway, it's really cool. This says mid-season variety with fruits of an unusual ochre color, oily and delicious. I wonder what oily means. That's the second time I've read that today. What do you think she means by oily? I know you grow row. I just love that name. You grow row. Um, Oh, thanks, Lauren. Didn't mean to give you extra work. That was you that suggested it, right? That's okay. It's a great, you're talking about the hanging resource sheet. It's a great idea. That and um, somebody suggested during the unboxing yesterday, tomato books. That's a great idea too. There aren't enough hours in the day. Jen's working on something now that she's, oh, I know. I'm not going to spoil it for her though. I'll let her do it. I think she's putting it up tonight or tomorrow. One that she's been working on, which is pretty exciting. Excited for the new micros. Yeah, she really, really has um, exciting micros. And she just pops them out. I, I talked to her this morning when she told me about the coupon code. I'm like, where do they come from? Where do they come from? Nuan says, shiny for oily. Could be. Maybe you're right. That would make sense. What does oily mean is what I asked. Shiny. 
and Haley. Hey, Haley, that looks delicious. I agree. Black yellow. Okay. Let's get on. We're almost, oh no, we're not almost done with this first one. Oh well. Um, this next one's called Big Stuffing. Not usually a fan of the stuffer tomatoes because I feel like they're usual, usually hollow. Oh, but I am wrong because that's not what this is at all. Big Stuffing. Indeterminate, 1.9 meters, very beautiful variety, fruit weight, 70 to 150 grams, but should be larger up to 300 grams. Incredibly tasty, juicy, fleshy. Beautiful, big stuffing. Yeah, from the name, I thought it was going to be one of those that's kind of like hollow inside that's good for stuffing. Honestly, for me, I can't be bothered with those. To me, it's a waste of real estate. I don't need, if I want to stuff a tomato, I'll just take a regular tomato, scoop out the stuff, eat the stuff, because that's the best part to me, and stuff it. I don't want to grow a tomato that's hollow inside. I just don't. All right. Moving right along. On order one, I, mind you. Let's take this off. When she puts gifts in, you'll, you'll see if you've never ordered from her. Let me get this down. She'll have on the back, she'll have gift. And you'll see... She, like I mentioned earlier, she, what's wrong with my hair today? Ugh. She, um, she gives one free gift for every five varieties that you order. Incredibly generous, incredibly generous. So this one's a gift that she picked out for me called Black Bear. And it looks, it looks amazing. Some of these may not be on the site yet, but we'll see. Big. No, black bear. Black bear. Uh, no. Hmm. She's got black and brown boar. No, she doesn't have it on. Okay, maybe it's to come. Let me sh show you. Oops, I wasn't showing that anyway. This is, let me take the sticker off. Beautiful. Black bear. Um, she's started, if you've placed orders with her before, you'll notice something new also. She's got the the Latin, the scientific name for tomato underneath. That's um, due to an incident I know um, that somebody had with customs in Australia, which is a very strict country. And they had said if she only had those on the packaging, which makes no sense to me. Like I keep saying, she's got that plant passport. She pays thousands and thousands to get the seeds tested. She shouldn't have to do that. But anyway, she's got those stickers on now. This one, I think I might have. I know many of you have it because I've heard of it before. Elser Farms Brown Derby. Oh, she doesn't have this either. Weird. Well, this one I know is not hard to find. Oh, but wait, what did I just find? <laughs> Look at this. Can you guys see this? No, you can't because I'm not showing it. Brown bear. So we just looked at black bear, but look at this brown bear, which I do not have. That's beautiful. Mid-season and determinate, suitable, suitable for growing in protected and open ground. Fruits are large flat round in shape, olive green skin, which may have pink and brown spots. Pulp is juicy and sweet, pink green in color. Damn, look at that inside. Wow, brown bear. Hi, Riverdale Gardens. Brown bear. Need you in my life. Don't look while I add to my cart. You didn't see that. Okay. <laughs> Next one, another gift. So maybe a lot of these gifts she doesn't have on the site, but we'll try. This one's called Olympic Fire. You know what? I'm looking at actually the date of some of these gifts that she gave me. They may, like this one's 2018. So it's probably old stuff that she no longer um, sells. But hey, I don't care. I'll take it. In fact, 
even better. So Olymp Oop, let me take the stickers off. Olympic fire. She knows I like rare stuff. She probably also knows that I have like everything on her site. So the only, the only gift she can give me is stuff that is old Olympic fire looks like this. And it's 1.8 meters. And fruits are 200 to 400 grams. All right. This looks like another Lauren tomato. This is not a gift, so hopefully it's up here. Bull's chocolate heart. Gosh, it, are all my tomatoes looking the same? They kind of are, aren't they? Bull's chocolate heart. Beautiful. A medium early, very productive variety. Bush 1.9 meters high. Fruits are heart-shaped, weighing 100 to 350 grams. Juicy, sweet, tasty with an exotic aroma. Look at this one down at the bottom. Look at the interior color on that baby. Whoa. Oh, gosh, that's gorge. Love it. Brown bear, my mouth is watering. I know, right? Yeah, definitely Google that one. Um, oh, no, wait. Brown bear is the one she has. Black bear is the one she didn't have. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, this one's confusing to me, and maybe one of you can answer. So I have seeds. My friend Luke, who you guys probably, many of you probably know, Luke, um, he gave me a variety called Deep, Deep Space Snickers. I've also seen what this variety is, which is just deep space. And then I've also seen just Snickers. And I can't find anything. Is this, is it the same variety? Or did they merge the two? This one's just deep space. And Luke gave me deep space Snickers. Deep space. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like she has this one. Any That must have been a gift. Deep Space. Let's type in Deep Space Snickers and see, see if she's got that. Somebody enlighten me about the Deep Space Snickers. All right, no, but here's, this is Snickers. So she does have Snickers. So this is Deep Space and this is Snickers. But what about Deep Space Snickers? I need to know. This is gorgeous. The Snickers. Look at this. Oops. A little big. A little big. Medium ripening pepper shaped fruits with longitudinal ribs. That's beautiful. Dark burgundy brown color. Very sweet. Mealy sugary at the break. Greenish in color when cut. Don't look. I did not just add a 40 second thing to my cart. Didn't happen. Anybody know about the Deep Space, Deep Space Snickers? Love that name. I do too. Um, there were old posts, 2016 era, and were the same variety. Um, Samantha says, love, oh, Samantha says, just read Deep Space Snickers with Deep Space Nine on Tomatoville. But they can't be the same variety, right? So, because if she's giving me deep space, which looks very different, let me. So, this is Snickers. This is deep space. So, I'm guessing they must have merged the two. Is that what you, do you see anything about that, Samantha? She's looking this up on Tomatoville, by the way, which is great. Thank you. Cindy says, I loved, I love ribbed peppers or tomatoes. I like ribbed tomatoes too. Um, Oh, Joe's here. Hey, Joe from Grow Big TV. Nice to have you. We're doing an unboxing of Tomato Eden today because they are having a coupon for in celebration of International um, Women's Day. The coupon is um, type in 8 March and it's 20% off until March 9th. Listed on her website. And this is tomatoeden.net in Latvia. My favorite vendor for sure. All right, this one I got two of. This is called Sigsgard's Golden. Sigs, and I know um, Jim Wyant 
uh, tomato Jim also has deep space Snickers. I know that because I think I got it from him also without realizing it. Six guards golden. This is pretty new variety from Sil Sigsgard. Charming bushes with variegated leaves. Oh, I wonder if Kina knows about this. I'm sure she does. She's like the, the king of variegated. I wonder Val from Val, Farmer Val's backyard knows about it. Charming bushes with variegated leaves and trunks. Height 1.1 to 1.4. Fruits weighing 40 to 80 grams. Unusually beautiful and tasty. Let's look at the leaves. Nice. Nice. I'm going to have to set this aside, make sure they know. I'm sure they do. Um, I mentioned one of the categories that she has is the um, sergeants. There's like Sergeant Pepper black and white and yellow and bicolor and all that. This one's called Amber Sergeant and it's an F1. So let's find out about that. Amber Sergeant or uh, F1s are exciting to me. Amber Sergeant F1. Experimental variety by Sofia Sakova. Deviation from the variety Strawberry Sergeant. Very productive. Fruits weighing 200 to 350 grams. Delicious. Not stable at all. Maybe bicolor with large antho. Am I the only one that doesn't care about it being stable? Am I the only one that finds that kind of exciting, actually? I really do. I really do. I know, you know, for... Some breeders, they want things to be stable before they release it. And that's completely understandable. But I don't know. I'm kind of a sucker for like the Jarsons and some of the Kazulas that aren't stable yet. And this Amber Sargent, I'd be excited to see what I got. Um, this one I know is not on her site, but I'm just going to check to make sure. It's another Jarson. It's Jarson 26. Yeah, she's got a lot of Jarsons, but I know she doesn't have enough to have this on her site yet. And so this is a very appreciated gift. Jarson 26. You would think I would know the crosses by heart at this point, but I do not. Jarson 26 is a cross between purple zebra, or no, Kazula 24, purple zebra, and Kazula 125 raspberry black zebra so and let me take the stickers off i'll show you what it looks like very nice she knows me well i'm assuming she's growing this out this year and she will have them for sale very nice love my jarsons this one is called para naranja which i'm pretty sure means orange para Neuron, huh? Probably orange pear. Didn't we have something like this yesterday? Well, I think it was in my shamrock. It was, wasn't it? In my shamrock seed swap unboxing. I think we had the same variety. Pear and naranja, which basically means orange pear, right? Um, fruits are small, pear-shaped. Am I showing this? No, I'm not. Glad I look once in a while. Taste is excellent. Fruiting is abundant and long lasting. Very nice. Para Naranja, or there it says it right there, orange pear. Okay, next. Dwarf Grandma's Chocolate. Like anything with chocolate. In real life and in a tomato name. Dwarf Grandma's Chocolate. Mid-season, bush height to about one meter, beautiful, smooth fruits, chocolate colored with shiny skin, fleshy, productive. Look at the inside. Really nice. Beautiful. Dwarf Grandma's Chocolate. And this one is another gift. Let's check to see if she has it. It's peppermint. Oops. No. No. Just peppermint. I think there's 
peppermint dwarf. Let me show you what it looks like. It looks like this peppermint. Okay. Well, thank you. That's one. One down. Got these. But again, don't worry. There's two of many of these. How are you guys holding up? Hey, Valerie. Glad you're here. Did you know, Val, about S Sigsgard's Golden? It's a variegated. Do you have this? If you guys mixed, missed my unboxing of Val, Farmer Val's backyard the other day, she has the single most, um, what's the word I'm looking for? She has more variegated tomatoes in one place than any other vendor. That and um, ricotto peppers. But I thought of you, Val, if you're just joining us, when I just read the description of this uh, Sigsgard Golden, it said it's variegated. So I put that to the side to tell you and Kina. Okay. We're doing an unboxing for Tomato Eden if you're just joining us. 20% off coupon code now through March 9th for uh, celebrating International Women's Day. You can find the coupon code on her page, but it's March 8th is the coupon code. And make sure you go to tomatoeden.net, not .com. So we're just going through a couple orders I got here. Okay. Did I do this one already? I wouldn't put it past me. I often order things that I forget I have. Dwarf Inditarod Red. No, I don't think we did. Dwarf Inditarod Red. Determinate. It's a mini dwarf up to 0.6 meters mid-season. Tomatoes are dark red round weighing 40 to 70 grams, dense with little moisture, wonderful taste, suitable for growing in pots on the balcony on the windowsill. Nice. Very nice. Val, did you know about it? I must know. If you didn't, I can hook you up with some seeds, my friend. I owe you some. All right, there's a second indita on red. A lot of these are double, so that'll go faster. Okay, next one is called ugh, tape on here, good. Victorian dwarf. Which looks like no, it's not really. It's a little larger than a mini dwarf. It's a regular dwarf. Victorian dwarf. Um, oh, it says up, up to 0.6 meters, so it is a mini dwarf. That's about 24 inches. Uh, dwarf with regular foliage, fluffy, early with red fruits weighing 80 to 150 grams. Sweet can be grown in pots. Victorian dwarf. Next one, I think, is another Alifera variety. Sure looks like it. I'll show you what I mean when I pull it up. The shape of his varieties is just unreal. Um, yeah, it doesn't say that it's his. I think it might be. Wouldn't know how to pronounce it. Kizil Tao. I'm sure if I were to uh, translate it, it would mean something. I don't know what Kizil Tao is. Can't even make a, a guess on that one. These are uh, height 1.8 meters, mid-season, thin-skinned, de delicate, sweet taste. Beautiful, beautiful. Lot Big fruit set. Look at this. I like the size of those. Super cool. I think that might be an Al Vitali or Alifera variety. All right. This one is called Black Bull. Make sure you guys, if you're joining us late, late, type in hashtag tomato. I'm giving away five packets of seeds from Tomato Eden. I'll, um, after this, maybe I'll show them again. Uh, Black Bull. Ooh. Ooh. That's really dark and beautiful. Um, tall, over two meters, large fruited, mid season. Productive variety. Um, the variety was bred in the sunny expanses of the Almaty region. It differs from other tomatoes in special 
qualities. The shape of the fruit is closer to the heart shaped. Weight is about 500 grams. The special taste of the tomato makes it an excellent variety. There is a rumor among people about the male tomato. To achieve good results, I recommend forming the bush into two trunks with obligatory tie in a stable support. And this is one of those examples of translation not necessarily working out all that well. But this looks beautiful. Black bull. Really nice. Okay, so the five packets of seeds I'm giving away. Um, I'll just, I'm not going to show them on the screen again for those of you that have been with me the whole time, but um, Seven Rivers, which is one by Alafirov. This is a micro, a newer micro called Spring Drops. And another newer micro, I have a plant over there I can probably go get and show you guys. It's called Stone Flower in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Leprechaun Lenya, which is... Is this the one? Is this the one that's one of her crosses? Now I have to look it up. I think it might be. I think it might be one of Tatiana's crosses. I don't want to give fake news. Um, yes, it is. It's her experimental variety F3. This is this is Leprechaun Lenya. This one's really exciting. So giving away a packet of that and the other, well, they're all exciting, but the other one is one of my most wanted or most one of that I'm most excited for to grow this year, which I will eventually put in the episode. I'm going to do Rojo Verde uh, Bicolor de Jarl, and it's not in stock any longer. It's a brand new one. Haven't heard of it from anywhere else. So I'm giving away those five packets. Make sure you type in hashtag tomato. Um, hey, thanks, CK. I was just talking, well, I'm not mentioning you by name, but I was talking about why Tatiana is now putting the Latin name for tomatoes on the packaging. Um, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Annalise. We were talking about the um, the dwarf, the micro dwarf Antho Pink Panther earlier. Annalise is getting some of those seeds for me. They're out of stock already. So um, glad I have a, a couple extra, but I unfortunately don't have any, any more. All right. This one's called Giant Family Red. For those of you that have been with me all week, this is like day three of these and you hang in there for all this time. Thank you. I hope, well, I keep saying, I hope you're not bored. I guess if you were bored, you would just sign off. Um, but um, thank you for, for being here. I have fun with these. I swear I could do this all day long. In fact, I, I kind of do, don't I? <laughs> kind of do do them all day long, but they're fun. Regular earth people just don't understand. They just don't. Who else can you talk about this stuff to and go, ooh, that one looks nice. All right, Giant Family Red. Let's get back to, to the program. If you've watched me, you know I'm not the, I haven't yet found a, a red that I like except for Sweet Scarlet Dwarf last year. That was fantastic. Other reds, they're good. I haven't found anything great. So I'm not sure what would have made me choose this. Let's see. Mid-season indeterminate. 1.5 meters in open ground, 1.8 in a greenhouse, fruit weight 300 to 700 grams, excellently balanced tomato taste, pulp is fleshy, juicy, aromatic. Yeah, still not really sure. It looks pretty. Yeah, uh, that picture could have done it. Lots of seeds and goo, which I like. I don't know. Giant family red. Maybe it's... One of the other things Mr. Mis Mr. Tomato Head and I are doing, just want, he wants a big tomato. He just does. So I'm helping, trying to help him get it. I, I could care less, honestly, about a big tomato. I would rather have a tomato that when I bite into it, I say, oh my God. You know, like Kim Lund with Dwarf Purple Heartthrob last year. She said she wept. It was so good. That's what I care about. 
Rob likes that too. Don't get me wrong. We love our good tomatoes, but he wants a big tomato. He just does. So I'm going to help him get it. All right. This next one, or try to help him. This next one, I was given seeds for this from Lydia Stafford from Carolina's Paradise on Etsy. She's got some great varieties too. Um, and she had sent me some seeds of things she didn't have in the store yet. This one she had, um, or I think I posted a picture of it and a member said, oh my God, I can't believe she has that because I can't find it anywhere. This is called a twall chocolate. Um, a twall is easy to find. A twall chocolate is not. So I thought it was great that Tatiana just released this. Um, super productive, tall and handsome. The fruits are elongated. The first ones in the cluster are strongly ribbed. Sweet. There are 10 pieces in the cluster. The color is red, brown chocolate. The height of the bush is 1.82 meters. It bears fruit, fruit for a long time until the first frost. Very nice. Very pretty. Like the size of those. So that's E12 chocolate. So and I, I swear when... When I got them from um, Lydia, I had to ask her for a photo. I couldn't find it anywhere. Kristen, I love that you have so many seed varieties now. I wouldn't know about a lot of these places if it weren't for you and Jen. That's nice to hear, Kristen. Really nice to hear. I wouldn't review a place that I um, haven't had good experience with. And there's a few, few places that I don't, most of them are great. Um, but there's a couple that I won't touch. Um, tomato Eden. I love, I just love, I know some of you, like I, I've said, have gotten a couple things confiscated from customs. I hope, hopefully that works out. They shouldn't be touching her stuff because of the plant passport, but, um, but she does replace it. So I feel like with the price, the shipping, the tracking, the free gifts she offers and the, Gosh, the selection. I mean, ugh, her selection. It's fantastic. All right, this one sounds interesting. Velis. Oh, good. I don't have to type more because there it is right there. Um, look at this. Oh, Grandmother's Majesty. That's what it translates to. Grandmother's Majesty. Look how beautiful that is. Cross variety of Your Majesty and Grandma Vinay from Valdis Poulins. The height of the bush is more than 1.8 meters. The weight of the fruit is from 120 to 300 grams. Beautiful, very tasty by color. Look at that. Nice. Grandmother's Majesty. Or Velicestvo Babuski. Work on my Russian. Okay, this one I think is an Alafirov. Another one. It's called Isik Crystal. <laughs> Isik Crystal. This is the this is the shape that um, he tends to do a lot. He's from Kazakhstan. Vitaly Alafirov, mid season tall, one point nine plus meters. Weekly leafy bush with thin leaves, elongated heart shaped by color fruits. We talked about this yesterday. Ox hearts tend to have those wispy leaves that can often look um, sickly, but they're not. Bred in open spaces of the Almaty region, otherwise known as ASIC. So I guess it's Essie Crystal. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's just stunning. Essie Crystal. All right, what else we got? Some of these are replacement for ones I've had already. This one is one of those. Let me get the tape off. Um, this one's called Sun Bunnies. Sun Bunnies, look how cute. Variety of the Ukrainian breeder Kulik. Tall, over two meters, with magnificent, long, multi-flowered, erect clusters of fruit. 
when the plants bloom, this variety cannot be confused with another because these brushes stick out from the plant in all directions. The fruits are very strong yellow with sweet sugar taste, very tasty, hold it well in the brushes, do not fall off even if you shake them. Excellent keeping quality, they can remain on plants all summer until frost without deterioration in quality, without cracks, without rot. This yield, the yield is simply excellent, increased disease resistant. Nice. I like that. Um, I wish I could see a different picture of the plant because um, Barry's Crazy Cherry is a very popular variety. And if my buddy Malachite Jen is here, she told me not a couple of years ago to not bother. Actually, last year, I think. Don't bother growing it because they're just, while it's a big producer, they're just not all that tasty. This one sounds tasty. Um I can send you seeds for Antho Pink Panther. Luke, what we're talking about is a micro version of Antho Pink Panther. Let me show you. You probably missed it, um, which she's out of stock on. So she's got the regular Antho Dwarf Pink Panther here, but she has, where'd it go? A dwarf Mini. Antho Pink Panther. It's a micro dwarf. So that's what we've been talking about. It's only 0.3 to 0.4 meters high. Um, it's brand new, very productive, and she's out of stock at the moment. So that's what we were talking about. Glad to see you here. And CK, Tatiana's wonderful. I appreciate all her efforts. Yeah, she, I agree. And I love what she did with you very, very much. Um, hi, Terry. Glad you're here. Rojo looks great. I agree. I agree. Val says, it's fun to see your hauls. Yeah, I mentioned earlier I wasn't intending on doing one today, but when Tatiana told me about the coupon code, we, I was going to wait for Jen to get her order in. We were going to do this together. And then when Tatiana told us about the coupon code, I would have felt really guilty if we did a haul like after that was over. So I said I would do mine today. And, and when hers comes in, we'll she'll do a separate one. Um Big Zach is a tasty red. Yeah, we grew Big Zach last year. It was okay. <clears throat> I'm looking for something with like, <clears throat> I don't know. Everybody's taste is subjective. So certainly everybody has their own taste. So if I say I don't like something, definitely don't listen to me, all of you. But for me, I like something with a stronger flavor. I was also disappointed they weren't as big as they claimed to get. We pruned it all down to only a couple of fruits were growing at a time. And it, like our Jarson 18.3 got bigger than that. But again, that, that can also depend on environment. Um, I want Leprechaun Gosha to come back in stock. Yeah, I think I heard you talking about that in the group. Um, oh, we've got all kinds of new people joining us. Linda's here. I think Linda's been here. That's tempting, I know. Church or Julia Child is supposed to be fla slapping your, your slap your face flavor red. I've heard of I've heard that about church. I've also heard that it's a big one. Am I right? Um, we grew a bunch last year. We grew um, Cosmonaut Volkov, which I mentioned yesterday. We grew African Queen. We grew. Um, German Johnson, which I know is kind of a pink um, stump of the world. Just didn't do it for me, but Sweet Scarlet Dwarf was fantastic. Fantastic. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop trying, but I just haven't found it yet. Okay. Gaha Gaho de Melon. We are actually kind of winding down because I a lot of these I have two of, so not too much longer. Gaho de Melon, no description, but doesn't that look delicious? <gasps> you know what that looks like? It looks like from my seeds, I've got them set aside here from yesterday. It looks like that Nap Napa Rosé that I unboxed yesterday from the Shamrock Seed Swap. Gaho de Melon, I love the opaque look and the different colors in this. Look at that. How can that not be good? Ugh. 
how am I ever going to narrow down my grow list? <laughs> Wendy, no more tomatoes. That's exactly what I'm saying. Turn me off right now. Don't watch any more seed hauls. I have no business to continue to do this. Something draws me to do it. I don't know. But don't watch me anymore because it's just bad, 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 bad. I'm a bad, bad person. <laughs> All right. This one sounded intriguing and looks intriguing. Um, wouldn't know how to pronounce it, but let's pull it up. Lang Ermer. I think I may, this may be a replacement too. This is cool. Am I showing it? Yes. Um, oh, it translates to long sleeves. Lang Ermer. Tall and determinate, 180 to 200 centimeters mid-season. Fruits are finger-shaped, thin green with orange and yellow stripes. Very fleshy. Taste is sweet. Not similar to the taste of fruits of this type. Juicy. Harvest is very bountiful. Great for pickling. That's what the inside looks like. Yeah, it's got, it looks like it's got thick skin, which isn't always my favorite. Although I know there's like a whole, there's like two camps as far as Brad's Atomic Grape. There's like the people that don't like it and people that do like it. I'm in the camp of people that do like it. Robin, I really liked it. I think a lot of people don't taste it when it's, it's got to be really ripe. And then I found the taste to be very complex and delicious. And that had thick skin. Um, really enjoyed that. Won't be growing it again this year, but we grew it two years ago. All right, next one's another green. Surprise, surprise. Green to to K. To K. This is beautiful. Green to K. Just look at the price, gang. A dollar fifty or dollar one fifty euros. You just can't beat the price. Ten seeds. This is a Tom Wagner variety, medium growing, mid ripening, produces beautiful red fruits alternating with green, good production that extends throughout the season, great taste. Oop, don't need it that big. Okay, well, that's very big. <laughs> yeah, green 2K sounds good. I keep forgetting to mention this also, but as far as germination, I grew, I, have been ordering from Tomato Eden for well over a year, and I've had 100% germination on her things so far. Um, I've all of her micros. I grew a lot of her micros this winter indoors too. I've had 100%. I do not have issues. I grew some, uh, her Jarson one from last year, um, so I have, I sing high praises for her in a lot of ways, and germination's another way. Uh, Harley the Swamp Bitch. So I'm late. I'll catch the replay. Not that I need to. I don't have enough room yet. Yeah, don't watch it. Don't do it because I'm showing some great things and you're going to like curse at me. Did you look at Dwarf Rabella yet? No, I'm not familiar with that one. Does she carry it? Let's take a look. Rabella? Dwarf Rabella? Oh, ooh. Do I have that? Not yet, I don't. Although the antho scares me a little bit. Um, very pretty. Dwarf Rebel, it's an F4. One, oh, it's, oh, it's another cross from that line that did the, it looks like the same line as the Leprechaun Lenya. One of the lines of my cross pollination VT16 brow to Dwarf DSA. This cross pollination produced a lot of lines. So yeah, that is the same line. Cool. Um, Bush, 0.8 meters high, super productive, delicious without acid, not sick. I love that. It may still give deviations, but this year all six bushes grew the same. Dwarf Rubella. Very cool. So that's from the same line as the Leprechaun Lenya, which I'm giving away a pack of. Okay. This one I know is a replacement also. It's called Dwarf Banana Donuts. I don't usually order for the name, but this one I did. I just did. Dwarf ban Banana Donuts. Another experimental variety. Uh, Cross-pollination of Dwarf Banana Fingers and Great White Blues. The ball is lush like a ball, or the bush is lush like a ball. With a simple sheet, not sure what that means. 
delicious, sweet, very productive, not stable. There may be deviations. It's 70 centimeters. Yeah, very cool. Let's see the inside. Dwarf banana donuts. I love it. I love, I don't know if you can see if I can blow this up, maybe. See the blush down at the bottom? That looks like a really delicious tomato. Do you think regular earth people, if we told them that we've just spent like three days and several hours together looking at pictures of tomatoes, do you think they'd understand? I don't know. I'm thinking no. Definitely think I got to order from Tomato Eden again soon. So many I am loving that you've shown. Do it very soon if you're going to. Um, ooh. I'll get to that comment in a minute. Definitely do it very soon because the coupon code, if you're going to use it, it's only good until March 9th. 20% um, off until March 9th. Coupon code, you type in 8 March. But this comment, Nuan, Dwarf the Thumb is on Tomato Eden? I was looking for that yesterday, wasn't I? And Kit was trying to help us. Let's look. If you weren't around, I did a three-hour long marathon unboxing for things from the, the shamrock shamrock seed swap yesterday and this was a variety here it is <gasps> nuan thank you we couldn't find it anywhere we thought maybe it was tom thumb but it didn't sound right to me here it is dwarf the thumb also says dwarf gardener am i showing it oh you're the best Dwarf the thumb. Of course. Why did I not think to check with her is the question. Um, 0.7, to, 0.7 to 1 meter medium ripe fruits are dense, weighing up to 80 grams. Look at this. Interesting fruits. Some are striped. Some are not. Ooh, I'm excited for these. It says dwarf the thumb and then dwarf gardener. Oh, thanks, Nuan. Awesome sauce. Yeah, we know you're right. Oops, we couldn't find anything yesterday on the thumb. You're right. Dana, my husband thinks I'm nuts. I know. Oh, this is cute. Riverdale Gardens. My wife pretends to understand. My Rob pretends to understand too. And we, like I keep saying, he does, we do love this together. But to this extent, would he sit here and watch three hours of an unboxing of tomato seeds? No, he would not. He would not. And he does allow me to pick the varieties. But once once we get that going, he's helping me plant. We go outside every night. We take, you know, long strolls through the garden, look at the progress. We measure things. I mean, it really is a nice thing that we can do together. Um, <laughs> Kim, that's between you and all of us. Yes. Yes, I mentioned you earlier, Kim, and talking about dwarf purple heartthrob. You want regular earth people? That's not us. No, we're not. We're not. What don't I like about antho? I wish I liked it more than I do. I find that to me, it tastes very funky. It tastes like soap, the antho that I've had. In small doses, it's okay, like Lucid Gem this year was a pretty good tomato and that had a little bit of antho on the top. I thought Black Beauty was the most disgusting tomato I've ever eaten. Same with um, uh, OSU Blue, which I know creates a lot of great tomatoes as a cross. We grew it just straight out. And um, Dancing with the Smurfs, there were dances with Smurfs. Don't like antho, don't. But Brad's Atomic Grape has a little antho great. Uptown Funk was uh, one of my favorites of last year that has a little bit of antho. But yeah, that when it's got a lot of antho on it, it scares me. Micro dwarfs though, those so far antho on micros like Ink Spot and Blau Zimmer Tomate, those have all, they haven't had that taste to me. So that is my um, very judgmental, strong opinion about antho. I wish I did because they're beautiful. All right, Girl's Caprice is the next one. We're winding down, Girl's Caprice. No information on it. 1.8 meters, 200 to 400 grams. Very pretty. Yeah, not sure what made me order it. 
maybe sometimes I will read a good review somewhere on something or somebody says it's really good. And uh, then I, I'll find it on Tomato Eden. So it could be that. Oh, here's another one. Guess I ordered it again. That that long keeper that we found earlier. New long keeper. I'll hold up a picture or I'll hold up the thing. If you weren't here, we unboxed this one. Trezia Rasa, which translates to red spit. It is a brand new long keeper on her site. Um, it sounds really good. I may have to put this in my grow list this year. Um, all right, hang on. We're in the last row here, gang. I promise. Lots of tape. Oh, and some of these we've already done. So we're, yeah, there's only a couple left. Some of these we've already done. Okay. Oops. I don't think we did this one already. Dwarf shadow boxing. Oh, there's two of them. Dwarf shadow boxing round and dwarf shadow boxing. Here's dwarf shadow boxing. Depending on the growing conditions, the height of the bush can be 0.6 to 0.8 meters. Tomatoes are oval shaped with a small nose. Am I showing this? No, I'm not. Here we go. Dwarf shadow boxing. Um, dense, meaty, excellent taste with sweetness by Tom Wagner. Let's see. Let's look at dwarf shadow boxing round. See what's different. Hmm. Not much. Second line of this variety fruits are round. Neat. I didn't know there was a round. That's something Tatiana is always great with too. She's got all kinds of variations of things, as you can tell. All right. This is a breeder that um, I've another one that I've recently come to really want to know more about. Um, simply named Kaz and she and Tari Tatiana has uh, a whole section on with Kaz varieties. So this one is I've got a couple of them already. This one I got is Kaz 4. Red version, it says. So I guess there's a CAS4 non-red version. This looks just great. There's no information on it at all. Oops. It's like I can't expand without getting really, really big on some of these. But look at that inside. That looks delicious. It looks like it's tall 1.8 meters. Yeah. Oh, this is a gift. She, she gave this to me as a gift. Thank you. All right, let's get rid of this big guy. There's, um, as I was looking for Kaz, there were a couple. I don't know if you guys noticed me passing by. I have this one already, Kaz 25. Beautiful. These are varieties, um, Cantati, Kaz, Jarson, Kazulas are a bit what, more well known here in the United States, but these are all varieties that have not been well known in the United States. Um, but I think after this growing season, we're going to be changing that. Look at this one, Kaz twenty one. Yeah, I'll admit this is too much antho for me. I can tell I'm not. I wouldn't like it, but I would try it. It's P twenty which is also OSU blue, by the way. P20 is used in a lot of crosses to get the antho, and it, that um, is the same as OSU blue. So it's OSU blue and Bawal Serge Kazensky. I don't know, but that is a beautiful tomato. Taste is excellent, very low in seeds. That's beautiful. So I'd like to know more about these, these breeders. Um, look at this one. Casvelena. Oh, this is one of one of Tatiana's experimental varieties. Do I have this? Experimental variety, my selection, a cross of Kaz 21 and Valentine's. Tall bush, mid-season, resistant to diseases, grew it outside for two years. Specs do not appear on all fruits. That's why I'm releasing a small batch for now. Everybody, look another direction. I'm not adding that to my basket. You didn't see that. You just didn't. 
Okay. This is orange pear. We already did that. We did, I don't know if we did this one or not. We did one of the sergeants. I don't think it was this one though. Amber Sergeant F1, did we? Yeah, I think we did. It's an F1. Yeah, this is the one we talked about with F1s. I got another one. That's awesome. By Sophia Sakov Sakova, Deviation of Strawberry Sergeant. All right, we're getting down to the wire. Make sure you get in that hashtag tomato. Giving away fri five prize packages. I have to get these prize packages in the mail. I'm too busy being on the air showing you guys tomatoes. I haven't had a chance to fill any of them for this past week. This one looks fantastic. It's another experimental variety. She has a lot of tulips, and tulips tend to have this kind of shape, which I love. Um, experimental variety, cross-pollination of the tulip variety with a dark-fruited tomato. Tall, to over two meters, very powerful mid-season, much more productive than the parent. Handsome, good taste, no acid, not stable yet. Bring it on, sister. Nice. I love, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. She's also got green tulip, green tulip heart, um, big festival tulip. I think I've got a, I've got them all. I wonder if I'm growing any this year. I've got to grow at least one tulip. All right, black tulip. This one is a gift, and I'm not sure if she'll have it on the site, but we'll try. It says green hohe, but I'm thinking it might be... No, it is. Okay. Green, green hohe, otherwise known as green honey. There it says green, green hohe, green honey. Indeterminate, 1.8 meters. Fruits are round, green, very sweet, 25 to 60 grams weighing grown clusters form into three to four chunks. Look at that fruit set. Very nice. Green honey. Okay, there's another of the Rojo Verde bicolor, which I'm giving away one of. They are out of stock. All right. Sang Sanjka. 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 There we go. Sanjka. Tomatoes of the Sanka variety have excellent characteristics for growing them both in a greenhouse and an open ground. They ripen quickly, no more than 70 days from the moment of planting. And in comparison with other varieties, they have increased resistance to late blight. Um, it's only 60 centimeters, so it's a mini dwarf. Very nice. Those are nice fruit sets. Sanka. Okay. Yep, another one second. And then here's our last one. Got two of them. Um this is called Liana Mali Novaya Ha Ha. <laughs> no, wait, there's a J in there. Lijana. Here it is. Ultra ripe. Oh, it's another mini dwarf. Ultra ripening variety, height up to 50 to 60 centimeters in the greenhouse, one meter in the green, up to about one meter in the greenhouse. Doesn't require pinching or gartering. Fruits are dense up to 60 grams, very tasty. Pickling variety can be sown directly in the ground. So there you have it, gang. Only two hours today. Only two. So let's give away some prizes. Giving away again. Let me get rid of this screen. Leprechaun Yet Lenya, which is one of Tatiana's experimental varieties. Rojo Verde a Bicolor de Jarl, which is out of stock and one of my most anticipated of the year. Looks fabulous. Stoneflower, which is a newer micro dwarf. Spring Drops, which is another. Newer micro dwarf and one of Alfirov's Alfirov's varieties, Seven Rivers. So let's do this thing. I'm ready to write these down. First, we'll give away we'll give away stone. Hang on, get rid of this. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Um, 
So many great tomatoes. I'm jealous. Yeah. Make sure you guys take, if you want to place an order, make sure you do it before um, March 9th and you put in that, that coupon code. 20% off until March 9th. Coupon code 8 March. And again, it's tomatoeden.net, not .com. Okay. Let's get our giveaway tool here. Here we go. Okay, first one is Spring Drops Micro. And if you win, please contact me over private messenger on Facebook is best. Um, but if you don't have Facebook, I'll put my email address, Wendy Loom. Congratulations, Wendy. I think my email address is on my YouTube channel, but let me just put it in the comments just in case. I don't have a thousand subscribers yet. And I think there are some things that you're not allowed to do until you have a thousand subscribers. Um, that may be one of them. Ernie at me. Oops. There's my email address. Okay. Next one we'll give away. What was that? Spring drops. Next we'll give away. You know, I'm going to, I mean, what's another minute, right? I'm going to go get this micro stone, stone flower to show you what it looks like. Hang on. Here it is. This is stone flower. Not a lot of fruit on it yet. Lots of flowers it's starting to get starting to get some fruits in here. Um, it's not going to get any taller than this. So it does great in a one gallon container. Going to have red fruit. It's got lots and lots of great, lots of flowers on it. So that's going to be a productive one. Oh, lots of little baby tomatoes on there. So cute. So cute. I freak every time she puts out a new micro on the site, I'm like, where did this come from? So that's stone flower. Let's give one of those away. Love me some micros. I hope you guys, if you participated in Micropalooza and still participating in Micropalooza, I hope you had as much fun with micros as I have. Some of them don't taste all that great, but you know what? They're still better than anything you can buy in the grocery store in the winter. Although I've tasted some good ones lately. Okay. This is Stone Flower. Cynthia Floyd. Congrats. Congrats, Cynthia. I think I owe you some seeds already, so we'll just add that to the pile. Okay, next we'll give away Seven Rivers, one of Vitaly Alafirov's varieties, which looks great. And these are full packs of 10 seeds I'm giving away. Where's my giveaway tool? There we go. Okay, draw again. Seven Rivers. My cat is screaming her head off up there. Cheryl, congratulations, Seven Rivers. I know that's not the one you wanted to win, my friend. <laughs> the Seven Rivers looks pretty spectacular. Okay, next we'll give away Leprechaun Lenya. This is the one that is one of Tatiana's experimental varieties. It looks insane. And, you know, St. Patrick's Day, Leprechaun Lenya. You grow row, man, two days in a row, you grow row. Congratulations. Um, you, I, I just love, I love saying that name, you grow row. You grow row. If you don't subscribe to her channel, by the way, I just caught a video today. She's got a great gardening channel. Check out you grow row. Um, really, I'm glad that I caught you today because it was really really great. And I can't wait to check out more of your videos. Okay. And last one, the fantastic, let's just show it on the screen again, shall we? You guys are probably like, woman, I need to go eat my dinner. Stop showing tomatoes, but let's just see it again. This is out of stock at the moment. But again, one of the nice things about her site is 
If you put in that you want to know when it's back in stock, put in your email address and she'll tell you. This is a variety from Spain. Rojo Verde uh, by, Cole, by Calore Bejal. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. This is going to be our last one. Remove, stop screen, present, giveaway tool. Okay. And Rojo Verde by, Cole, by Calore de Jarl. Jarl. Keegan's Garden. Congratulations, Keegan's Garden. Not sure if you're in the group or not. You can private message me on Facebook or feel free to use my email address. So that's it, gang. Um, thank you for joining me once again, my fellow tomato heads. I um, love spending the day with you all. Thanks for hanging in there for all this time. And um, if you're watching the live, or if you're watching the live, if you're watching the recording, thank you for. Um, for watching also. And again, make sure this is, re I'm recording this on March 6th, 2024. This coupon code is only good until March 9th, 2024. So you wanna go to tomatoeden.net and put the code 8MARCH for International Women's Day. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Hope you have a great day and evening and I will Catch you next time. Peace, love, get your gratitude on and go grow tomatoes. Bye, gang.